Shoot out there, guys. Hobby Williams. Congratulations. First question. What is the name of your album? It's called The Heavy Entertainment Show. What date is it going to come out? It's coming out on the 4th of Five Fingers. <laughs> it's coming out on the 4th of November. 4th of November. What one element within Big Nasty and Shirley Batty did you feel was going to work together to get them with one tune? Okay, let me ask you this. What element of Shirley Bassey and Big Nasty and me does oh, not work? work? Yeah, exactly. Great question. Yeah. Well, where well, that, how do you go? Where, where? Just tell me where. What okay. point of your brain were you like, these two people? Yes. Well, you know, they are writing lots of songs, written 70 plus for this album, and you follow the narrative of a song, and sometimes you sing a melody, and you go, Shirley Bassey would sound great singing it. But the thing <laughs> is, though, and then Big Nasty, who I love, yeah. anyway, and I want to work with. Thing is, I, I had a chat with him in the studio, and I'm like, I'm thinking of getting Shirley Bassey on this. And, and he then said, he went to the sun and went, yeah, Shirley Bassey's on. Oh. <laughs> I'm on it. Everybody else, like, oh, no, now I've got to at least get in touch with Shirley Bassey or apologise to Dane Shirley Bassey. I know you announced the album in May. Before May, was the album been, how far into the album were you at that stage? been working on this album like I work on all the other albums. It's been a process of three years. So some of these songs that are on the album I had three years ago, they've been on my computer and uh, I've been very, very excited about them and then new ones have taken their place and then the old ones have gone and then the old ones come back up and then the new ones and it's just a process that's been three years ago. Are you happy? Uh, scale of one to ten. Scale of one to ten. I'm on a ten. I'm on a 10. Um, we shall see what happens. You know, um, it goes out to the public, and um, they're the ones that make of it what it is. So, you know, fingers crossed, and uh, better luck in the following win will be okay. Well, I don't know if you need more confidence and more energy inside, because I feel like you're full of it, but if you just want an extra boost, there have been people camping outside on the street to get into this festival to see for a very long time. That's how much they love. I think, you're I think you're mistaking homeless people. <laughs> uh, yeah. they've, been queued, they've been camping in the queue though, so it's fine. They're definitely not homeless. Yeah. They actually just love it. Yeah. That must feel good. Yeah, it does. You know, it does feel amazing, and then you sort of like responsibility of worrying about them in Camden oh, yeah, overnight. This is true. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I hope there's a good bunch of them, so they say. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, uh, to be honest with you, I'm just concentrating on the first words of that first song that I'm singing tonight, and I hope the, that I give them their, what their weight work. Yeah. No, because nobody paid, did they? No, it's pretty sure. Okay, all right. So weight work. I give, you, I give you your weight work. I've seen Guy Chambers' name floating around the email. When you meet up with Guy Chambers and you're like, hey, what's up? How are you? Let's have a cup of tea, maybe. And then you think about what the world has received of you two as a partnership. How do you approach that again? Like, what's the process of saying, well, we, let's well, create something else? Okay, me and Guy have been working together really for the last, again, the last five years. We yeah. did the Swing album together, uh, and he's been MD on tour. Yeah. Um, so I can't really remember what happened five years ago. But we're back in each other's lives, and I love him. He's my musical brother, and he's you know, like a spiritual brother. And um, we just tried to get back in the studio and recreate some magic. And okay. hopefully reconnect with um, uh, what made it and us successful in the first place. Can you place your finger on the most genuine part of that friendship between the two? What's the thing about it? It's just like the most genuine part immeasurable. Of I can't, I don't have it. Um, I feel really comfortable in his presence and he feels really comfortable. In mind, and uh, he's genuinely my friend, and uh, people both awkward people and our awkwardness dovetails. Yeah, dovetails. Yeah, dovetails. Yeah, yeah, dovetails completely. And um, I don't know what it is about the chemistry of us because we're both very different people, but um, it seems to work. Before you go, you may know this number already, but I'm just going to say it because it's insane. You've sold 1.6 million tickets in one day for a tour before. Yeah. Again, no pleasure. Um, <laughs> people have called you Britain's greatest entertainer. Um, and as someone who's been within music for years, I'm sure that that's a very nice accolade to have there for people to think of you. 
But when you perform today in a smaller venue to what you're used to, because I know you play your arena shows, this is a smaller, more intimate venue. Um, do you have in your head like this is what I'm going to bring to the show? This is what I want the people to experience. What What do you go out there thinking is Robbie Williams about to perform a show? I just, just hope that I, I step on stage with Robbie Williams' terms up because <laughs> sometimes I get up there and he doesn't really have to do it myself. <laughs> you know, I, I just have to, you know, you're only as good as your last song, you're only as good as your last gig, and accolades are incredible, but, you know, you don't, as a human being, you don't walk around with them in your soul and your heart. Well, I, I know I don't. You know, um, every gig feels as though I maybe haven't done it. So, you know, but it's that energy that I take up there. It's a, it's a nervous energy that sort of um, turns into unbridled confidence. I don't know how it happens, but it does. And I get up there kind of going, okay, I did this last time, and they liked it, and they come back. Okay, go do, repeat that. And then, uh, yeah, like, I was doing a gig in uh, was it Switzerland last year, and like the six, first six numbers, Robbie Williams didn't turn up in my head, and I'm like, so lonely out here. <laughs> How does Robbie Williams do this? When did he get there? Yeah, he, well, he turned up like seven <laughs> songs in, and I was like, oh, thank God he's thank here. Thank God he's here. Yeah. I'm so glad to see him. Well, it's, it's incredibly humbling to hear you say that, um, because I've seen you perform, and it's insane. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to watch and talk to people and have a great time today. Thank you for being here. Uh, absolute pleasure. It's lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you. Thank you. Too.